All windows need maintaining. This involves conserving the existing glass and restoring or replacing damaged or missing glass. One of the leading studios to undertake this work is Barley Studio in York, and we are here today at the invitation of Keith Barley and the stained glass artist Helen Whitaker to see these processes being carried out. Following assessment, windows are restored to a plan. This usually involves dismantling the window, cleaning, conserving and or replacing the glass and reassembling the window in new lead. Replacing missing glass involves selecting and cutting to size coloured glass which is compatible with and matches the general colour of the glass in the adjacent parts of the window. Yes, part of the work here is, is, is restoration and this is where uh, over the period of centuries you know, uh, the glass has actually been lost, totally lost and where we know what should be there we actually paint a new piece which involves cutting a new piece. So first of all we've got to match the actual tints of glass with the adjoining or adjacent pieces. This for instance is a slightly blue-green tint to match the original blue tint here and a slightly warmer yellow-green tint to match the original piece that we have surviving. So that when we know what was there we can actually restore that lost detail. And at the moment I'm just cutting an infill piece for this area here. So I've marked on where I need to cut on the piece of glass and then in just stages I'm cutting that and just following my lines. The stained glass artist then applies tints to the glass before painting on the glass detail missing from the window. So this is the original um, head from the um, Duchess of the Faith window and this is St Ambrose. So here you can see this is the original piece and what we've done here is cut out a new piece of glass, which is this area here, yes. into the same tint as the existing glass. And by that I mean the same, it's a clear glass, but it's just got a tint of green to it. So we've matched up the same colour glass. And then I've actually carried on the design of what I believe to have been there with um, paint pigment. I'm just about to start firing the pieces of glass that we've just painted. Um, but obviously before we put them in the kiln I just give them a quick check just to make sure that there's like, no fingerprint marks on or anything like that. The newly painting glass is fired which renders the painting permanent. This glass is now assembled together with glass conserved from the original window and the whole is reassembled within new lead. Why, why, 
A notable advance in medieval glass conservation is being pioneered by Bartley Studio. Called isothermal glazing, this involves setting the restored window within a bronze frame, then suspending this window on the inside of the church and in front of what is a new plain glass window, which has been fitted in the original window space. Keith Barley explains. Well, the next process is probably the most important aspect of our preservation work. And uh, unknown to a lot of people, stained glass, or, or glass for that matter, will corrode in the presence of moisture. And its durability depends on the actual chemical composition of the glass itself. Right. And the condensation is particularly damaging because it erodes the actual painting the work of art from the surface of the glass. So now when we're preserving these windows we're installing a form of protective glazing. So originally the stained glass window was inserted into a groove in the centre of the stonework and now to take the place of the stained glass we make a brand new protective window, a new piece of glass. It is um, obviously um, an aesthetic alteration to the building because we're putting a new window in, uh, but this is a reversible process. So who knows in centuries time or 50 years time <laughs> when they developed some kind of design, you know, block barrier, this glass will be able to return to its original position. New lead. Like a phoenix, the old window is reborn, resplendent in its new clothes and barely, or dare I say barley, changed if at all from its glorious beginning. Helen Whittaker, artist and designer, has an MA in traditional and Islamic arts and a BA honours in three-dimensional design. She is a member of the Society of Master Glass Painters and a liveryman of the Worshipful Company of Glazers. A scholar and visiting tutor of the Prince's Foundation, she was, in 2006, awarded the prestigious Hancock Medal for her achievements. Renowned for her realistic restoration of medieval glass and recognised worldwide for her stunning new designs, Helen has been awarded the most prestigious of commissions. She is considered to be one of the leading stained glass artists working today. Helen is concurrently working on designs for the most prestigious of clients. What's the reasoning behind the design She now talks one? about one of her designs. Well, the, um, the brief was um, to design the east window in the south nave aisle at Rothwell in Northamptonshire, depicting Jesus and the children. And I also thought that because it's Holy Trinity Church Rothwell, that a combination of the two would actually add to the design. We get our glass from here in England, near Birmingham, um, Polish glass, German glass and French glass. It's extremely pretty. Well, thank you very much, Helen, for taking us through this project. We appreciate your time. Thank you.